just over a hundred years ago, the so-called Great War killed an estimated 16 million people. It was a fully industrialized, mechanized global war. But why did so many die? Was it the trenches and mustard gas? The deadly machine guns? The aircraft? Or the first tanks? No, the machine that enabled death on such a horrendous scale was in fact the train. In this program, I'm exploring and traveling on the railways of the Western Front. This locomotive, the first thing you notice is it's incredibly small. It's like something out of a children's story. The railways that promised a quick, decisive war. The trains that delivered millions to be slaughtered on the front lines. All the ammunition, the shells, the bullets, the guns, all the supplies were brought up here. And the long lost lines that tried to break the deadlock. And actually, you can see the marks of where all the sleepers would have been laid. I'll hear the words and even the voices of the people who travelled on them. We had set out in a drunken atmosphere of blood. We had to face a very heavy machine gun fire. At last, all was ready for going over the top. And I'll discover why the First World War was truly the railway war.